Hello. Glad you could join me. Pretty yard, huh? So there's something I have to um, kind of bring out about spiritual blindness. See, when you're spiritually blind, the, um, the spirit of opposition within you, the dark spirit inside you, demonizes the truth. It's not a matter of just rejecting it. It's demonizing. And when we look at political parties, it's a, it's a tactic to demonize, you know, to call evil good and good evil. You have to demonize. Well, this is what happens with God's sovereignty. God created all things. And if God did not create all things, then God is not God. Why? Well, if God created some things, but not all things, then some things are not part of God's control. Like evil. If, if God did not create it, then who created it? It would must be a rival God. It would be like Satan is not a created being, but Satan is created by the Father. What is the Satan? Alter ego, devil's advocate, the, the tester of all things, but also the deceiver, the other side of the coin, and their tactics are to demonize the truth and the true people and the true believers so that so that they can feel a sense of animosity towards them, in which case that makes their blindness go even further. Because now they look at your truth as being evil itself. Now, although God is the creator of all things, he is a righteous God who has a plan that you do not understand, but you're just a man. Well, and you demand God for all these explanations. It will all be revealed why he did certain things and what was best, because God only knows. But going back to the Arminianism that demonizes the sovereignty of God, says, oh, that bad word, bad Calvinists, evil, evil Calvinists. See, when you make them evil, then you can hate them. And when the truth is revolting to you, when you actually are standing on the wrong side of the Bible, and the truth is, is, is looking you right in the face, and you're denying the Holy Scriptures, which are put out by the Holy Spirit. So you are actually blaspheming the Holy Spirit when you when you take your own will into your own hands and thwart God, it becomes the gospel of man, not the gospel of God. So this is, this is what you do. And this is where I have to mention this. I had and still have somebody I care about very much, a friend of mine, who's not a friend of mine anymore so much. Why? Because... You see, we had this conversation about the book of James. And over the course of a year, without looking at debates or whatever it was, I was able to show him from the scriptures why the book of James, he didn't believe it at first, you know, why the book of James is the true book of the Bible. But we're on two ends of the spectrum. He's supposedly an Arminian, and I am supposedly an evil Calvinist. But you see, we didn't get a chance to talk about that. When it was the book of James, that was fine. But when he thought that my view was evil, he wouldn't even talk about it. So wouldn't that help him if, he, if we talked about it either? You know, like with the book of James, I had no animosity towards my brother. But you see, this one, 
This one gives animosity to the point where you hate it so much that you reject even speaking to anybody about it. That sounds like witchcraft to me. That sounds like a spirit of evil, hiding from the truth. But, because if I was my brother, I would have said, sure. I know this brother went through a very, very, very hard time. But if the subject wasn't so triggering, just like the book of James, it would not have been a problem whatsoever. But you see, it was. It was something that actually made him physically unable, spiritually unable, and even hostile to, or to even talking about it. And I'm willing to talk about it. I know, I know the truth. You see, I've been given eyes to see something that this person just doesn't see. Wonders, in his arrogance, so proud. I mean, like, <laughs> I know more about this than you do. You're talking to somebody who's autistic and was focused on this subject. Bad idea. INTP here. If you think I didn't study this, <laughs> you have no idea of the mind of the INTP Asperger syndrome. But what I want to do is I want to invite, you know, rational thought, not a debate, a talk. God bless.